Hello, this is Easy and welcome to Top of Gun Full Learning Course Overview. Um, I'm going to try being accurate as I can be, so if I make a slight mistake, don't hold every word to say word for word. Alright, what is the full learning course? Well, the full learning course is I pretty much go over everything about Top of Gun. If you had read the uh, help documents, I pretty much go through the help documents and convert that into a video tutorial to make it a little bit more understanding. All right, I would say I go over about 95% that you might read in help documents and convert it into uh, videos, um, if not more than 95%. So, as an example, let's see what would you would get if you um, got the full learning course. Well you would get these videos right here alright here's a list alright if you want to pause the video you can and take a look at the list alright you got the name of the, uh, the video here these are WMVs and you got the duration alright you need to pause the video and take a look down the list you can alright now we got some medium size uh, videos and if we scroll down the list down here and we got some sh real short ones and I got one here around 20 you know I got some long ones here so it's gonna vary uh, then you can see the total duration right here all right now there is over 70 videos all right and in total size there is like over 600 megabytes in videos so that's pretty much gonna tell you I go over about 95 percent if not more about topo gun all right you can load these up in the uh, media player here and load them all in at once and uh, once you play one, the next one will automatically play uh, once the previous one finished. All right, what is Topo Gun? Well, Topo Gun is a standalone application for a resurfacing and map baking uh, application. Uh, what I mean by resurfacing is uh, it's retopolizing. All right, this gray one here is the uh, scene mesh. This is my retopolized mesh, and you can edit this. All right, then we got the uh, Reference meshes. This is my model right here that I want to retop over. All right. So uh, how this works is uh, once you uh, retop over where you want or the whole thing, you would uh, it kind of shrinks wraps this uh, gray mesh to the lighter mesh when you subdivide it. And it works something like that. All right. Now the more um, the more subdivisions you have, let's go to preference. There's a subdivision level here. All right, the more subdivision you have, the more detail this will grab. All right, so what I mean by this, if I got a lot of pores in this, uh, my reference mesh here, I would want to increase that. And that way, when it's shrink wrap, I'd make it make sure that I grabbed a lot more detail. All right, more subdivision, more detail to grab. Uh, let's take a look here. Here's one um, at the lowest subdivision level, then I kicked it up. And the next step over, and you can see how it's getting grabbing more detail as I'm subdividing it. Now it does a uh, map baking, and this is just an example of one right here, as you can see right here, which it does a really good job. All right, now in the learning course, I'll be going over quite a bit. Now I'm not going to teach you how to retopple, I'm going to teach you how to use the application itself. Here's an example of one I did. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, hide a few things. This is the uh, original mesh here. This was designed by the marvelous designer team for making clothes. All right, I retoppled over it because I like to do quads. This mesh is not quads. So if we go to the wireframe and we kind of zoom in, you can see this is not quads. I'll uh, just pause that for a second so you can kind of see a little bit. All right. And we'll turn that option back off. And we'll view this right here. Now this took me about less than about two minutes to make. It's really simple. All right. It's not a very complex uh, mesh, so it was pretty easy for me to do. Alright, now this video was uh, 
uh, split in two uh, when I made it. So uh, we're getting ready to go to the second half here. You'll see here in just a second. And uh, when you go to a web page, I'm going to let you know in advance here. Um, the next video we're going to be talking about a web page here. And it's designed to have screen resolution like 1280 and above. And for some reason that you don't, you can't get that high, you might be able to hold the control key down. I know on um, Firefox you can, Mozilla, hold the control key down and with the middle mouse wheel you can scroll in and out to make it large. And you do have the uh, option to go to the uh, view tab, then zoom, and reset it back. So you might want to start a video first, then if you need to, go ahead and hold the control key down. And adjust it if you can't get 1280 and above. So okay, we're going to go into the next step. Hello, this is Easy, and welcome to Topple Gun Learning Course. In this learning course, I will be using Topple Gun 2.0 Beta. All right, now different versions and different builds, things may change. Okay. With that said, um, if I'm showing you something now, maybe later it might change, but being the new beta there probably ain't going to be a whole lot of changes so you don't have to worry in that area another thing is I'm one of the first beta testers for Topple Gun. I do have pretty good knowledge and I have, have made mistakes in my life I'm only human so if I make a mistake forgive me alright alright this is what this does it's a live learning course what you'll be doing is you'll be clicking a menu or you will be clicking some buttons or you will be clicking some icons in the tool panel to play a video all right and it's like live simulation if I wanted to know what the load scene does I would just click this and it would play a video these are a lot better than to basically um, I think to watch a learning course and you got to uh, let's say Hey, what did load scene do? And I forgot, and I gotta go digging through all the videos to see what it does. Well, with this live learning course, you just click it, and it's gonna take you right to that video and get you, you know, understanding that area that you want to understand a little bit better. All right. Now I'm gonna offer a demo version. It's gonna be be try before you buy. All right. I'm gonna have three options that you can click. It's gonna be the load scene. It's gonna be the load reference and the interface and customization all right you can click these and try them and download them to make sure they're going to work for you all right now before i click this load scene here we'll take a look up here this is the full version and when i click this it's going to take me to another page as you can see the page changed up here now i prohibit to download any of these pages okay and i have a reason for that now these now there's a video that's going to play automatically when you come to this page. I got it disabled for right now for this little demonstration. Now that video that's playing right now, that video is called a M4V. I don't offer any support on how to download it, but if you want to download it, you can. Now what I do offer is uh, these WMV videos. All right, you can click these and it'll play, or you can right click and save it. These are WMV videos with the Kodak 9 in there, all right? And it's best for you to download these and try them to make sure that they're all going to work for you. And I will offer a zip file where you can download all of them at once or one at a time. So if I was to click here, it's going to take me to a different page. Then you can download this video for, you know, this section right here. Now these videos are very good quality, so you don't have to worry about that. Now if you want to go back to the main page, we just move our cursor over to the right, and it'll turn into a hand and say back to the main page, and it'll bring us back to the main page here. Alright, let's go ahead and go into the next step here. Alright, now we do got Top of Gun loaded up here. I'm going to go through pretty much everything on this interface all right there's a lot of information in these menus up here all right all right and a lot of these uh, menus here have the same information that's on these buttons so you're gonna be I'm gonna be going over it twice 
all right but with that said is uh, these menus let's take a look here quite a bit right here so I'll be going over these quite quickly and give you maybe one quick demonstration move on and move on because the videos are going to get really long because anyway I'm going to end up showing you again through a button on the interface all right and since these are going to be short I'll probably end up giving you a demonstration and maybe a little extra tip with it now under the bake here this is probably one area I won't go over a whole lot in but um, and this part here called generate maps because there is so much information right here if I was to go every, over every single little detail uh, it might confuse you and it might bore you at the same time I'm gonna get you up and running and that's what this learning course is and be able to give you demonstration and then uh, give you a general idea right but pretty much everything else I'm just gonna go ahead and go over it okay and you'll be having these menus up here that you can go through and you can go through all these buttons around the interface all the way to the side down here at the bottom and don't forget about the main working horse right here to collect these uh, icons here in the two panel all right and a real quick overview uh, back to the uh, learning course and a little overview one more time is uh, basically click a button to take you to a video and it's simple as that and you can go full screen if you want to go on right here if you want to and um, I think this is pretty much going to wrap it up and thank you very much.